Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Alicia Kay and here we have Gil Vidalis, the CEO of HIPAA Vault. So last week we talked about why people should go with a specialist over Google or Amazon when hosting their private health information. You mentioned a great analogy about a house and the specialist has to take care of all the things such as mowing the lawn, moving in, all that stuff. So what does that relate to in terms of being a specialist, what are some of the things that you have to do? Yeah, the, the analogy I think was a good one because when you move in a house and you're all excited, you're thinking, oh, this could be great, and then you realize, but wait a minute, someone has to cut the lawn, mm -hmm. someone has to clean the pool, someone has to do the maid service, clean the toilets. There's a lot of work the, to do. And the insectus, I mean, the work is on and on and on if you're mm -hmm. going to keep your house beautiful, right? So what I was talking about is the things that we have to do mm -hmm. as a specialist are tedious and very important to meet federal regulations. So for example, we have to review, we have to run a vulnerability scan and really review it carefully. If we find a gap, a security weakness, we have to get together with engineers and decide how are we going to solve that problem. Okay. The other thing is we have to keep logs of those that are accessing the systems for many, many, many years. Mm -hmm. To keep that much data, you have to structure the networking in such a way that you can keep that data. Yeah. That's another thing. And then backups. People forget, you can't just keep backups. You have to have an off-site copy that goes into wow. another location. So the list goes on and on and on and on. These are things that someone who's just excited to move in is just going to move yeah. in and they're not going to do all the extra They don't work. realize how much. It seems very intimidating, all that yeah. work. Okay, sure. awesome. Is there anything else that you wanted to add on this topic? Well, I, I would say that it's not to discourage people to do it on their own. Mm -hmm. it, they can. And some people can try that as long as they have the security training and they're willing to spend the time on it. Yeah. Certainly they can do it, but they'd have to have a team probably of at least a dozen people or bigger wow. before they're at that level. Okay. I would say if they're just under 10, 15 people, they probably aren't going to try that on their own. Oh, I didn't realize it took that much work. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome.